Assalamu alaikum. Um, welcome to another episode. Uh, my name is Yusuf. Um, as I said on the first episode, I'll be doing a couple of videos just targeting questions that I normally get uh, from my customers and generally from people with regards to fragrances, more specifically Arabian fragrances, um, what you would call inspired fragrances. Um, so this week I got a very interesting uh, question from an Instagram user by the name of Dibello. Um Basically what she was asking is, are inspired perfumes fake? Hmm, the short answer to that is no. But just to open up the topic even further, so that those who might not understand the differences between an inspired fragrance or inspired perfume and an original perfume can, can have a clear understanding. I need to break down a couple of basics on, on perfumes. So firstly, um, what is a perfume? Uh, perfume is a basically a mixture of, of stuff, essential oils, uh, uh, aroma compounds, if you call them that, and solvents. Solvents basically are that, uh, it's, it's the liquid that they add in the perfume to make it more fluid because originally the oils are a bit thick um, so hence the amount of oil concentration that you find in perfumes it gives the strength of the perfume so we've got perfume we've got edps we've got edts and and all sorts and all these they they've got different um oil concentrations for example uh, this is Toiba Spanish food, right? So it's it's perfume, so it's it definitely has a higher oil concentration. That means it's a bit oilier and it lasts much longer than what you normally use um, in EDP or in EDT. I think typically they, these have about 20% uh, oil concentration. Uh, EDPs, it's what you normally find on, on, on perfumes. Um, and these have about uh, about 15 percent oil concentration um on average um then you've got edts and 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 and, and edcs but mainly i have EDT, uh, edps on inspired scents so now a perfume like i said it's a mixture of stuff now what does the word inspired mean the word inspired um as you know, it's, it's to arouse, it is to inspire, it's to aspire, it's basically to, how can I put it? You see like Huawei phones or Samsung phones. Um, these brands, if, if, you look at the, uh, if you look at them properly, their, their designs in terms of their phones, they're mainly inspired by a company, what you call Apple, for example. So an iPhone would, would, would rock up and they would have a new feature or a new design and soon all these companies would follow suit. It doesn't mean that these companies are clones or I mean it doesn't mean that these companies are fake, they're making fake phones, no. They just, their design element is inspired by what they've seen from Apple. You find the same thing in, in, in cars when Audi came up with these LEDs, daytime running lights, now every, every car has those. So the, to, to inspire something doesn't mean that basically it, it, it is to make an actual copy. Somebody can inspire, even in music, a piano in, influences a lot of sound. A lot of sound is inspired by a piano these days in South Africa. Um, you find other people using the word clone for, for inspired perfume. Some people, per, people would say this perfume is inspired or it is a clone of and the clone i don't like to use the word clone because clone it's it's, it's mostly used in biology you know like reproducing a cell from another cell and things like that in the laboratory uh, but it can also in general can mean to make a duplicate or to imitate or to to resemble i think i like i like that one more to resemble because um, inspired perfumes or clone perfumes they're not necessarily 100% the same as the original scents, but the, some of them become very close. I mean, anything between 80, 90, and some others 95%, it depends on the kind of perfume. 
so now that you understand those those two terms that people can use interchangeably so basically a perfume that is inspired it means a perfume that takes its scent from a particular perfume that's already in the mainstream market like here i've got lush cherry by tom ford so definitely this is inspired by um i think it's, it's lost cherry by tom ford uh i've got uh fn fabulous which is inspired by tom ford uh fn fabulous um mentioned i mentioned spanish oud spanish oud is inspired by uh christian dior oud is you'd also find oud imperius which is also inspired by the same so you have a, some others you might not use different names they might literally say dolce and gabbana right dolce and gabbana velvet embassy but they normally write inspired by because this is to avoid this is to avoid being sued and this brings me to the next point of like a clones legal like a clone perfumes legal or inspired perfumes legal and the answer to it is yes the 100 percent legal because you can't patent a scent there's no way you can patent a smell but you can patent the name the brand the logo of the of, of the perfume you see um so what actually makes a perfume to be fake would be when the perfume uses the exact name of the original perfume um, the description the logo the name of or the designer or the perfumer they use that and they actually even take a steal the, the the packaging the exact design of the packaging these you normally find around Joburg, you know you find the hugo boss perfume for like 300 but th those are fake because even in terms of performance they're not even close but inspired perfumes in terms of performance they can be very high quality like the ones that we have they're high quality especially on perfume on perfume which have a higher oil concentration these can compete with a lot of uh, mainstream market perfumes um gucci oud we've got something similar to it which is intense oud you see the bottle is is different but the scent is inspired by it and it might not be 100 percent. it might be like 80 percent close or 90 percent close and this difference normally comes from the ingredients you know it's like when you're making a, a, a cup of tea some some of us you know who are married because i can say i like it when my wife makes me a cup of coffee because she knows what she does she can maybe she adds exactly two uh, spoons of sugar and when i make it myself i would add maybe like two and a half i can taste the slight difference even though the sweetness is there but i can take the slight difference you see so it's mainly that it's the stuff that goes into making the perfume that actually separates them between inspired scents and original scents so in conclusion um, an inspired or smell alike or generic or clone perfume can smell very close and at times the same as the original i mean we've got perfumes that are difficult to to separate from the original um but they're mainly sold at the fraction of the price i mean these at most you're looking to spend about 400 bucks um others they can go up to 500 bucks depending on the the quality the ingredients that have gone into the perfume and also the brand from the company that makes these inspired sets so i hope the this video has been insightful and yeah uh shout out to uh Tibello. thank you very much for the, for the question i hope that you you most most important of all have found this video to be uh informative so yeah guys if you have any questions that you you'd like to ask please Drop them by the comments and yeah, I'll see you next week. Assalamu alaikum.